the people in the background are gagging because this is like the most smelly fish in the entire world apparently it's like been fermented for apparently months and months at a time or something like that i i don't know i don't necessarily ever want to put this in my mouth or ever be in the vicinity of it because apparently it will literally destroy your entire apartment or house um it takes literal probably months to get rid of this this smell and to do this on public transportation is so far diabolical like it, it's actually so crazy that candy's cooking thought this was a good idea um i don't know why they haven't got more hate for this because like it's one thing to make these videos in your house in your crib and stink up your house stink up your crib stink up you know your environment throw your grease down the wall down the down the toilet that's fine but to do it on a public transportation where people are probably like trying to go to work trying to get back from school trying to go get their kids whatever go to go grocery shopping and then, then to sit here while this woman records a TikTok video of opening the worst smelling thing on the earth. I, I, I don't know how I don't know how terrible of a smell this is. But people tell me that it's literally like the worst thing ever. So to do this on public transportation is absolutely diabolical. But I guess it's in the, the, the wheelhouse for Candy's Cooking. I didn't necessarily know that Candy's Cooking was as diabolical as she is here. But this is actually some like... This is, <laughs> this is some next level shit, okay? Think about if you're in the back of a, you just mind your own business watching TikTok, and then you just, ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 like you're just smelling the, the, the outrageousness of this, this odor, this Stromberg or whatever they call this shit. But uh, yeah, man, we're gonna watch some more Candy's cooking because she's such a great person. She's so great and amazing. <laughs> You shouldn't want to open it. Yeah, there are people gagging in the back. They're, they're, if you can hear the people, they're literally gagging because the smell is so diabolical. One. Just the smell, by the way. Like, she just popped it, and within, like, literally 20 seconds, everybody on the entire... I mean, maybe not the bus driver. Um, probably not. But, dude, obviously, everybody behind her is going to be smelling the absolute disgustingness of it. Yeah, everybody's going to leave the fucking bus. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't even imagine what this smell is like and putting that shit in your fucking mouth. Oh my god, dude. I would literally rather lick the brim of a glory hole than than put my mouth even in the vicinity of that area. Oh my god. And it's like dripping on herself too. You gotta take like five showers with like different types of Irish spring to really get that smell off of you. Oof. Do you know what? Do we ever maybe do that? Go and smell your wife and enjoy your life. Nobody made you do it, Tan. That big backness is actually on some different level right there, dude. She she literally got the, the hot dogs in the back of the neck, man. That's crazy as hell. Nobody made Candy's Cooking do this, by the way. Maybe somebody recommended it, obviously, but nobody made her do this. I hate when people, like, don't take accountability for their actions. Just because somebody says, go do something, does that mean you do it? No. It's like the thing that your, your teachers used to tell you or your mom used to tell you. If your friends all jumped off of a building, would you do it too? No, you wouldn't. Because just because you, they tell you to do something doesn't mean you do that thing. So um, I really wish Candy's Cooking would take some accountability here. Nobody else is to blame but you, Candy's Cooking. You decided to go on that public transportation and open up the fucking most dis disgusting smelling thing on the earth. And I don't feel bad for her, bro, that she put that shit in her mouth or whatever the fuck, man. Uh, this person is obviously a shit human being by doing that. I mean, maybe they can... I'm sure they have redeeming qualities, obviously. I don't necessarily have a problem with Candy's cooking, but that is actually terrible, bro. People are going to work. People are... It's like, you ever see when people are really shit to, like... Uh, service employees or workers behind the counters or whatever, like uh, just just people that are like just doing their jobs, right? So cashiers or people that are working at a McDonald's or um, behind a desk or something like that. These people like they're just doing minimum wage work and they don't they don't they shouldn't be or like waiters they shouldn't be talked to like that. Like these people already have to do really really job like jobs they probably don't want to do, and yet here you are making it worse. And it's probably actually worse in this scenario because everybody on that bus was literally just a. Uh, you know, a casual, a casualty of war, literally, just because she wanted to make a video with, you know, a lot of views. And I guess it did numbers for her. It did do numbers for her. As you can see, 60, 67,000 likes, if that's any indication. I think this video literally got like millions of views because people were watching, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It's, it, it is the blight of social media. Everybody wants to do things that get the most views. So you end up doing the worst things possible. Like that one girl, you remember that one girl 
at the very beginning of COVID and she was like going around licking public toilet seats because she was like, you know, hashtag COVID's not real or some shit like that. And she was like licking the brims of toilet seats, uh, which by the way, COVID is real. But a lot of people uh, were doing crazy shit like that. I do. I actually think that that same woman that was like licking the brims of toilet seats in public restaurants or whatever. I, you guys remember back in like a few months ago, um, they had like that portal thing where it was like a live feed from New York City to Ireland or whatever. And I believe that she actually went to there and then she like flashed the camera. Like everybody saw her boobs. What is this right here? I don't, it's, I think it's liquid or something. I just washed my hands. I do wash my hands, but she like flashed the camera and they had to stop doing it because people were showing dick and showing, you know, boobs and stuff like that. Um, seeing boobs is not necessarily a bad thing, but like seeing it unprovoked is sexual harassment, so... Aviva has banned me from that I'm not allowed on the buses for life. I doubt that. I've always just and nobody, like, just because a bus driver says you're banned for life doesn't necessarily mean anything at all because you can just leave the bus. And it's not like they're going to get your, like, name and address and your ID and stuff like that. You just walk off the bus. Like, you open the shit up and just walk off. It's going to smell like a tin of tuna. <laughs> hey, guys. Today in United Kingdom, we are making a healthy... I, I just love... When I watch any any Candy's cooking video, um, and then I see that she's cooking ground beef, which is great. I like ground beef, but cooking it in a pot of boiling water, kind of crazy. Um, but then doing it with the what seems to be the pouch or like the blood pack thing underneath it, it seems like that's also in the pot. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure this is like a little. Um, what is that like the plastic wrapping around the beef itself somebody can let me know down below i'm pretty sure that's what that is is that what is that not what that is chocolate shepherd's pie chocolate shepherd's pie somebody can let me know down in the comment section if you're from the uk or if you had any experience with this particular food i've, I've never eaten that before it doesn't sound delectable but i'm i'm open to hearing what people have to say about it um personally it doesn't sound very good but i'm open to hear what you guys have to say so do you let's add our vegetables God damn. Okay. All right, dude. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing, Candy? Jesus Christ. Pouring the whole thing in the pot and then just marinating the stove with the residue of it. That's what that's what that's what the toilet's going to sound like after you're done eating this shit, huh? Beautiful. Oh. Oh, right in the microwave. Ooh, I don't know about that one, dude. Uh, is that plastic microwavable? Is that microwave safe? I guess it doesn't matter when you're over here eating like the most diabolical things known to man, but that's really, really terrible candy. Just poking holes in it so it can breathe. <laughs> what? Wow. Jeez, candy. So creamy veg mash so mashed potatoes okay in the somebody can let me know can you just microwave those in the package because this is the best mince to go and get from Lidl's. it's five percent less steak what food. is mince oh beef steak mince oh it's not, i thought it was mashed potatoes it's meat this is like like beef beef shavings that she just threw in the microwave okay all right um okay my stomach is already bubbling dude is that a toothbrush the best meats to go and get from Lidl's. It's five percent less steak fat. Why do you have a toothbrush on the counter in the kitchen? What are you doing with the toothbrush? Huh? What the fuck? What is that there for? Guys, it's always. Oh man, dude. Oh, everything here looks so disgusting, man. That the 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 water on the right looks like it's about to boil over. Good to cook for your loved ones. Oh, it's still frozen. I'm for my neighbor because. For your don't neighbor. Many people cook for him. I don't, does he just eat it because he feels bad? Or does he eat it at all? Like, sometimes you go places and then somebody tries to talk to you about something. Like, the other day, I was wearing, like, my Bruins hat. And I don't watch the Bruins. I don't know shit about the Bruins. And this older guy, like, approached me. He's like, hey, oh, man, do you like the Bruins? And I was like, yeah, I mean, you know, they're cool. And I don't know shit about the Bruins. He's like, oh, wow. 
Me too. I love the Bruins. Not doing so good this year. They really, you know, they're not doing the best. I don't really know um, how we're going to recover this and this and that. He's like, who's your favorite player? And I was like, listen, dude. Listen, bro. I got things to do. I'm not trying to talk to you about your affatiation with, you know, I'm not stopping random people in the store because I got a Darth Vader shirt, okay? I'm not going to talk to them about, hey, what is your favorite time Darth Vader killed a child? Like, I'm not I'm not asking them that question. I'm, I'm not, I don't really necessarily even care. You know, I'm glad that you like the Bruins. Um, I know that you're going to call me out for it because you're going to go, oh, David, why are you wearing a Bruins? It is what it is, okay? What do you fucking want from me? It's no worse, it's no worse as bad as people wearing like a Pulp Fiction per shirt that has never seen Pulp Fiction a day in their life, okay? So, suck me off, all right, dude? It's the same thing. Don't be, don't sit there and try to act like I'm a bad person for that, okay? Don't, don't. It's, it is actually boiling. It's like steaming because the water flew out from the side onto the, the burner itself. I don't like electric stoves. They kind of freak me out a little bit. Oh, why is it so Guys, I'm bubbly? giving away 400 pounds for someone to come and try my shepherd's pie, my chocolate shepherd's pie. What the pie. fuck is this? You've got to be over the age of 18, so go... What is she straining this in? What What is... Is this... A, I'm, okay, I know this is a strainer. A very open strainer. I don't know exactly what you're straining with this. Ground beef seems kind of... Probably not optimal because ground beef is pretty small usually, like the the the, the little like meats, whatever. It, it seems like it can go right through this. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I'm also concerned with what is this? Is this just like a cast iron that she's just straining this into? What's wrong with the sink? Uh, what's wrong with your bathroom? Like, don't don't you like strain your shit out already in the toilet? Why does it matter? What? Do you, why are you? Why would you strain it in this? I want to take your mom, Dutch. Auntie, uncle. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. The way it like went up and it like splopped all over the place. You can you do that with a North Face shirt on too, bro? You know that shit's gotta be expensive. Be over the age of 18, so go and take your mum, Dutch, auntie, uncle, sister. Oh, all over the counter, dude. Put it in oh, there. Oh, it even properly drained out either, dude. I literally saw that shit still dripping. Oh. So let's add our fruit nut chocolate. Fruit nut chocolate. Oh, right in the beef? Oh, it's already oh, boiled know. too, bro. It's like these people are eating like a, a depression style cooking, dude. Like it, this is like your great grandfather. This is like your great great grandparents cooking during like the the the, the Great Depression, except it's worse. It, chocolate right in the the ground beef like that after it's been boiled. Oof. Is that the seasoning? And half chocolate butter. Oh, more chocolate? Oh, oh this no, nah, there's no way this is gonna taste good, bro. This is actually so, so incredibly disgusting. Oh, the stove is busted. Did you see how the stove was looking? Oh my god. Oh, she put the strainer right on the stove after she was done too, bro. I get so upset when when people come over to my house. Or when people, I'm going over somebody else's house and they leave things on the stove that just shouldn't be on the stove. Like paper or like plastics or things in general that shouldn't be on the stove. Like it's okay, pots and pans. But papers and plastics and other things like that will burn. I, I will shit on people that, that do that shit so consistently. I will literally be like, bro, what are you fucking doing? This is so, you are literally, you have a mental deficiency if you're sitting here and you're putting this on the stove. Whoa, bro, you're gonna like burn down your entire house, bro. And you know, I, have like, I have like PTSD from like my house burning down. So I'm always consistently like checking to see if everything's good and not burning and things such as like that. Um, but this person leaving that shit right there on the stove like that and the water dripping out from the meat water. Is that the wrapper? Is that the wrapper from the fucking, the ground beef? Oh, it's like the paper wrapper that we saw at the very beginning. I thought she took that off. Oh, she didn't take it off, bro. She cooked it in the fucking paper. Oh my god. There's no way she's eating this, right? This gotta be some like, we're just gonna cook it just for the memes and then we're just gonna like pretend to eat it, right? No oh, way she's no actually much. eating this shit. Look at the stove! Oh my god. The stove is wrecked. Is that the food right there? So guys, let's dish up our shepherd's pie. Oh, oh my God. Oh. One for me. Jeez, one for me. Oh, I forgot she's making it for her. So let's add 
the mash. Oh. So guys, if you, if wanna... you showed me this and you said you have to eat this, I probably wouldn't have an issue with it. But as soon as I like found out what you did to it and how you cooked it, I would immediately go, nah, I'm I, bro. When my chocolate shepherd's pie, just tag your mum, dad, uncle. You've got to be over the age of 18. Oh, my God. She's actually eating that shit. Oh, wow. This is my favorite meal. Oh, it's so diabolical. Candy. Put hot. Candy, what are you doing? She's bodying that shit. She's actually full on body slamming that shit. Oh. Oh. That's really Just paper. Just like paper. You cooked it in paper and the chocolate on the, the boiled ground beef. Ooh, my God. God, the vegetables are all right. Like, you know, you can't really fuck up the vegetables. She just boiled them in a pot. Like, whatever. But everything else, oh my God. The microwaved meat in the, in the, that was in the package? Everything else is just diabolical. Hi, guys. So, I'm having a chicken dinner. Frozen. Why doesn't she defrost it, though? Like, you know you have time in a day. You could have easily defrosted this at the very beginning of the... Of the like the day, and then just took it as it defrosted. Then you could have cooked it. Why are we gonna cook everything from frozen, man? Right in the oven, huh? Not even any seasoning on it. Nothing, dude. No butter. No no fat on that. Nothing, bro. Absolutely dry as fuck. Damn, that stove is meated, bro. You gotta clean that shit up. That shit literally had residue. How many people you got growing in there? Look at the dirt. Oh, no, Candy. Oh, no, it's so dirty. I've been seeing people doing these onion boils, so I'm going to make it myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip the chicken. Oh. In there. No, chicken, we don't want you to fall in there and all. Stay where you are. So tip it's the juice slimy. in there. What are we doing with the ju the chicken juice? Take the middle bit out of your onion. Why does it right? look like that, bro? Would your neighbor have fun with that shit? Why does the onion? <laughs> Why does the onion look like that, bro? What you cut the open with, bro? A spoon? You stick it in there. Stick the juice in there. Oh. And then stick it back in the oh. oven. So guys, let's try an onion boil. Oh, it's not even cooked. It's still a raw onion. Just eating a raw onion with chicken grease in it? Candy. Spit that shit out. Candy, spit it out. It's not worth it. The content isn't worth it, Candy. No, we're not eating a raw onion with chicken grease in that shit. Damn, you can eat a lot. Mm. Oh, wow. She actually swallowed like a quarter of the onion. Wow, man. How is she still, like, how is she not, like, gagging? Because I like onions as much as the next guy, but I feel like this shit would literally hurt my mouth. That's quite juicy, actually. Wow. I can't even believe that. How is she not making <laughs> so much onion? Who is eating onion like this? GG, you got that. You, you, you got that. I'm gonna give you that. You, you just straight up put a raw onion in your mouth. You got like half of it. Wow. That's, that's, can that's definitely, you know, clap for you, bro. That's, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, fuck that. But, you know, I'm happy you did. Wow. I think I'm gonna have sneeze. Because you just ate literally and then like half an onion raw. You just didn't even care about it either. Sneeze, no sneeze, no sneeze. The skin is the best part of the chicken. And you got no you got no skin. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> awesome candy. The skin is the best part of the chicken. Proceeds to not eat a single bit of skin. 
beautiful way to blow off your... I love onions. I do. I think onions are some of the best foods to top stuff with or add a little bit of extra flavor. But to just eat an onion by itself is that's some that's some serial killer shit, dude. If I saw somebody literally body slamming an onion in the same way that somebody would body slam an apple, that's ridiculous, bro. There's nothing even on onion either. It's just like the chicken grease, which really didn't even do anything at all. The, the, the onion still looked relatively uncooked. It was still crispy. Usually when you cook onions, it become a little bit more wet, right? They, they, they tend to um, caramelize a little bit, but that shit is literally crunchy as hell. It's so hot. Wow. It's actually really nice. Thanks for the tip, guys. Oh my God, dude. She's... That's <laughs> I can't believe she's able to eat it like this. That's actually insane. No, she's going for more. Do you, do you think you're in your own name? Gill out. A fly? Ketchup is the best. Does anyone else have ketchup on their roast dinner? Does anybody else have ketchup on their roast dinner? Candy. We got pie. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Like the Is that like somebody's side of their face? Ooh, pie, some kind of pie. meat. This is a pie? Damn, right in the mm. mouth like that? Minced beef is always different. Minimal chewing? Holy good lord. She literally just put that shit in her mouth and was done in a second. Do you guys see how fast that was? In the mouth. One, mm. two, Minced three. Dude, different. two seconds and she swallowed it down. No, no chewing to be found with this woman, bro. What even was that? That looked like an undercooked piece of pork. Did it, what was that shit? Carrot, mash. Mm. Sweet potatoes and ketchup? Oh, oh. Oh, oh what is that? Why is it wet? You gotta have the bubble gut after this, right? Ain't no way you're not gonna be running to the bathroom a good 20 minutes after eating this. Your stomach gotta be disagreeing with you all day. Don't do anything for the rest of the day after eating this shit, dude. And she wants people to come over and try her cooking? I'm all right. I'm all right. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there that tell me, no, she's trolling David. She ain't really doing this shit. I've watched a bunch of videos on Candy's cooking, right? And I've watched videos from years ago. Apparently, how she does it is over like the last three years since COVID, apparently, uh, she's made TikTok pages and then done shit like this where she's just eating copious amounts of food and, and dirty, disgusting places and doing that over and over again. I even saw a video of her where she was having a complete mental breakdown where she like took a, 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 some canola oil in a big tub and just started squirting it on her head. And she was crying while she was doing it. And I'm just like, what, what the fuck is that? And that was before she had this channel. So she was doing this stuff like way before that. And I guess she deleted that one. And then she made this one, which is recent, by the way. This one just came out, I think. This new this new content that she had put out um, is new. This one just, th she just started this channel back in, I think, uh, July, I think. And um, I, it's, just, it's just such an anomaly to see a woman. I don't know if this is real or not. Like, I don't know if this is like a a rage bait or a facade somebody can let me know that's more in touch with the candy's cooking lore because since i started watching this woman i thought it was one of two things i thought it was either she was trolling and she was just fucking around um which i do think that to a certain degree she is because that one video we saw at the very beginning where she was like on the on the bus like you you gotta have some type of self-awareness doing shit like that right uh i thought it was either either that or she's severely mentally disturbed something of the sort it might be a combination of the two um, I'm not really too sure, but if you know, I would love, please, good Lord, leave it down below. I need to know the truth about this woman. It's, it's she's such an anomaly to me. And she, the fact that she's just eating this on this stove is, is interesting, bro. To watch this woman literally body slam this shit on the stove is just so telling of how much of a great person this is. Oh, 
Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, damn. What is that? No chewing. I, one thing I've noticed from Candy is like she doesn't really chew. She just puts the food in her mouth and goes up and down for a second and it's gone. I'm going to watch the rest of EastEnders. Okay. Damn. It's just gone. Like she puts it in her mouth and it's just not there Today anymore. Today I'm going to make a casual sandwich. So we've got our bread. We've got our bread. When I make a sandwich, usually maybe some bologna, maybe some obviously cheese, some turkey, some chicken, ham, maybe, uh, maybe some pastrami, depending on what you like. What the fuck is that? What do, what do you eat? What is this right here? Is that that weed fix thing, whatever they call it? For what? That's a lot of milk. Bananas. Got a banana. Efficient on the peeling. Had experience. Damn, okay. Nice cutting. Good cutting. Good cutting. Today, guys, I In am meeting somebody. Um, I, 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 um... <sighs> What do you call it? Sandwich. I'm collabing with someone, but they go try my food. I've never um, done it before, so of course I'm a bit nervous. But I'm gonna Are be we late. stirring the with a knife? My food. Who's eating this? Who? They like perform a blood ritual on them before somebody before somebody eats this. So we come back for part two. And you'll see who I'm collabing with today. I tried to find the part two. There was no part two. Like, I, I tried to check. I, my, my, my biggest guess is that that person died after they ate Candy's cooking. For her, I'm guessing she built up an intolerance over time where the food doesn't really do anything to her because she's eaten it for so long that she's, like, built up an immunity. Kind of like those people that, like, slowly but surely inject, like, uh, python, you know, serum or venom in themselves over and over again until eventually, like, they become just completely immune to it. I'm guessing it's like that for her food and her, but for other people, it's like probably Chernobyl in your in your mouth. I just love that there's a banana peel just on the bread. Okay, let's make my sandwich and make their sandwich. What did you just eat right there? Okay, let's make my sandwich and make their sandwich. I'm guessing that was a piece of banana. Okay, the bread looks unmoldy, so that's good. I mean, it's such a rough, because it's like an hour and a half away. That's the sandwich. Oh my god. Oh, it's wet. Make sure they've got more. I think. This is the best. I always eat this. I've got craving. You couldn't even wait for the boy mm. to come over? Well, a book. Wheat and a banana. We have some bananas, huh? Is this real, bro? Is this actually like an actual person? Yeah, a bit like that. Who stacks the sandwich? My God, dude. <coughs> Just coughing on the food too. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching today's video. I'd appreciate it if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all the things I'd appreciate tremendously. Let me know what you guys think about Candy's cooking down below. I'm, I'm very interested in understanding this individual um, just in general, because I have no idea what the fuck is going on with this person. But anyway, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in milk. There's a lot of it here. There's a lot of it on the sandwich, apparently. I've never had a milk sandwich, Weetabix, and, and I like bananas. Uh, not because I'm gay, but because I like bananas. Bananas are great, and they satiate you optimally. 
but uh, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're a spectacular person. I really care about you. I think that your ability to budget money is really, really great. I love how your eyebrows are perfectly formatted to your face. I love that they're lubricated with SPF. I saw that you put that on this morning and that's really great. Even though you're not going outside today, it has a lot of good qualities to rejuvenate the face. So I'm happy that you were able to put that on your face and the rest of your body to marinate yourself within the sweet liquidization of, of moisturizers or oils or whatever you're putting on your body to ensure that it's good and, and, and nutrished and all that other stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.